and welcome to another exciting episode of Real China. Hello, Zhang Liang. Hello, Rob. How are you today? I'm great. How are you? I'm absolutely. I、marvelous. like your cap. Thank you very much. I look like a real director,、um, although I don't actually direct the show, so I don't know why I'm wearing.、Mm-hmm. But Christmas is coming up,、mm-hmm. so that's very exciting. Are you going to do anything for Christmas? Yeah, I'm hanging out with my friends. Friends, eh?、Mm-hmm. Okay, sounds、uh, absolutely wonderful. Did you buy presents for everybody? No. But we are planning to buy a present. Well, each one buy a present, and at the party we kind of exchange presents. Like a secret Santa type thing. Yeah, something like that. So, what is what is your plan? I plan to go to a hair cutting shop. To. Not to cut my hair. Anyway, let's、uh, quickly move on from that, eh? And、uh, talk about some film news because it is real China, R E E L, like a film reel. Very、mm-hmm. clever. I came up with that. Um, and this is some news about a film called *The Allure of Tears*. All about tears.、Um, apparently so, and it's directed by a woman called Barbara Wong,、mm-hmm. and she's from Hong Kong, but she graduated from New York University. So well done, Barbara. Good job. And this film stars Gigi Long,、mm-hmm. Arif Lee, and Sean Do. Oh, okay. Yes. Well, it seems to、uh, it seems that this is the first film. Shot by the director Barbara Wan, that is focused mainly on emotions. Really, what are her films usually about then? Like, really logical films, nothing emotional. But really, this is her first time. Is she a robot? <laughs> no. I don't know. I feel like a robot. We don't have any radio mics. They've all been stolen by Global Go. So unfortunately, and we're we attached. Plug directly into the camera like Terminators. It's really <laughs> grim.、Um, but、uh, Gigi Lung, she's a canto pop singer, isn't she? She is. And、uh, she also does some acting, obviously.、Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I heard that she married her Spanish boyfriend in Ibiza in yes, October、recently. this year. Yes. Yes. So、uh, well done to her. Do you know the name of her boyfriend? No. I don't either. It's probably something really Spanish, like Jose. What does that mean? Jose. It's like a Spanish name, isn't it's it? It's not Jose. It's Jose. Well, like Spanish people, they pronounce like th for everything. Jose, Barcelona, <laughs> like things like that. They, they speak very <laughs> strangely.、Um, so,、uh, well done to her for marrying a Spanish guy.、Mm-hmm. Now, this、And、film. Oh, oh, oh. were you going to say something? No, no, no. You first, please. Oh, that's very kind of her. <laughs> I was going to say that this film comes out on December the twenty-second, which is、um, so it's actually come out already. Um, so,、uh, what did you want to say? I wanted to say that、uh, I read on the news that this film is all about tears. The director <laughs> herself. The allure of tears <laughs> is about the, tears. Wow. The director herself said that during the shooting, the、uh, post-production period, she cried all the way herself. Why? Because her film、that. was so bad. <laughs> like you're editing <laughs> it and you think, oh, this is like a. Yeah, I can't use the words I want to on this show. Let's check out the trailer for The Allure of Tears. Yeah，嫁给我好吗？我答应你，从此以后我都会撑着那把破雨伞去为你挡风遮雨。这不是爱呀，是两个快死的人互相安慰而已。Oh, hello! Wasn't that a lovely trailer, eh? Amazing.、Um, so let's move on from Barbara Wong and Gigi Lung and all those people to talk about Sun Fei Fei. Now,、uh, is that?、Uh, Is she a famous lady, Sun Fei Fei? Not really. I noticed her because one of the incidents that happened on a red carpet. Well, that's what we're here to talk about—the、uh, the bit of a boo boo that she made recently. <laughs> See what I did there?、Um, but she was actually in a movie in 2006 called An American in China. Wonder what that was about.、Um, but、uh, recently, she was indeed on、uh, in the news for something that happened on the red carpet, <laughs> and、uh, wait, accidentally stepped on her dress. And <laughs> then what happened was Sun Fei Fei. We'll watch the video in a minute. Not yet, but in a minute we'll watch it.、Uh, Sun Fei Fei kind of does this. <laughs> no, she didn't. She's the, like. <gasps> It, it, she sticks them out, you know. Like usually, if your dress comes down and it reveals your bra, then you cover up. You go, "Oh, don't look at me!" But in fact, what she does is, "Oh, stop looking at me!" Like that, you know. It's a,、uh, 
It's obviously. We're gonna get in trouble for that, you know. <laughs> She's not famous, doesn't matter. Um, <laughs> so, uh, yeah, let's let's take a look at the event happening. Okay. <laughs> you see, she was obviously like, and the look of surprise on the TV host's face. What's her name? Fung Ling? Um, yeah. All okay, right, the look of surprise on her face is so fake, you know? It's like, ah, oh. you know, like, <laughs> Like, literally anyone can do that. It's it's a poor show. It was clearly just for publicity. So, um, yeah. And if you want to uh, do that kind of thing, you need better boobs. You know what? Uh, yeah. she, well, she's okay, actually. Uh, better than nothing, eh? <laughs> Take Anyhow, what you can get in China. Yeah. Fong Ling said that uh, she apologized to her, mm -hmm. and also she said that she doesn't need me to step on her dress to be famous. I mean, if I want to step on someone's dress, it's not going to be her. Okay, well, um, the last movie she made was in 2006, so I'm pretty sure she needs a, mo a new movie soon. Um, would you ever do something like that, like an Step Easy FM party? Dress. No, just like, uh, you know, like speak to me privately and say, Rob, I'm going to be on stage later today. Could you possibly accidentally pull down my T-shirt or something? I won't do that because I already got the fame in Babao Shan. <laughs> okay, your, your boobs have made you famous across Babao Shan. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Anyway, uh, let's uh, let's move on very quickly to uh, something about Nicolas Cage. Now, Nicolas Cage is not very popular these days because no. he just makes he makes anything for money. Terrible. Um, and back in 2007, he was in a terrible film called Ghost Rider, and it's about a guy who kind of sells his soul to the devil and becomes the Ghost Rider, mm -hmm. and he collects souls for the devil. Uh, mm -hmm. Fascinating stuff with uh, very poor special effects. Bad I think souls even or good souls? Who knows, I wasn't okay. paying attention. And um, yeah, even even CRI could have done better special effects. That's not actually true, <laughs> we're plugged into the camera. Um, <laughs> but anyway, there's a sequel to this film coming out very soon, which is very strange. Usually, you make a sequel to a film that people liked. Mm -hmm. But in this case, it's a sequel to a film that nobody liked, which is a weird thing to do. And it's directed by a team called Neville Dean and Taylor, who directed one of my favorite uh, movie series, Crank. Never heard of it. <laughs> and she hosts a movie show. Um, <laughs> anyway, this film, uh, the sequel, uh, is about the main character, Johnny Blaze. Uh, ironic that he's called Blaze and his head becomes on fire. Mm -hmm. Well done, writers, clever. Um, and he's hiding out in Eastern Europe probably because it's very cheap to film there. And uh, he's struggling with his curse as a demonic bounty hunter. Mm. I'm just reading directly from the notes here. Because, I can uh, tell. Yeah, because mm. I, I haven't bothered you... to do any research. <laughs> um, and then he's contacted by an obscure religious sect and he has to prevent a child from falling into the clutches of the devil himself. Um, sounds really great. And if he saves the boy, uh, yay. If he doesn't save the boy, it's the end of the world. Oh, okay. Yeah, That's so... Uh, but obviously he has to try hard and there's some other people in it who I don't know and it's coming out on February the 22nd so that'll be around uh, Valentine's Day. I guess so. so. Maybe uh, in the US uh, the lovers will go to watch uh, Ghost Rider Spirit of Vengeance. So um, yay, let's check out the trailer. <laughs> like a fascinating film, doesn't it? Oh, she's still reading her notes. Oh dear. I don't get it. I mean, I don't get Nicolas Cage. After National Treasure, he's been making like the, the witch season. Season and of the all, witch. Yep, season of enough. the witch. And all those kind of films, which are quite similar. Well, I, 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 I saw him in... Very... I saw him in one film recently called Trespass, and it went directly to DVD. It was him and Nicole Kidman together, and the performances were poor. He was wearing giant glasses, and he just looked silly, and he was wearing the worst wig I've ever seen. Every film Nicolas Cage makes, like, his wig becomes worse and worse. Because you know he doesn't have any hair. Well, he has little hair, but... Okay, I, I don't know what I'm is not wrong so well acquainted. Him? What's wrong with him? He, he, uh, he's got no not money. With, no, not but, with his hair. Yeah, all right. <laughs> okay. Well, the problem with Nicolas Cage is every time he gets the money, he decides to buy a castle or something. He just He's not very clever with money. So uh, basically, he keeps buying castles, and then he realizes he's got no money, so he has to make films like uh, Ghost Rider Spirit of Vengeance. 
So, uh, next news is about the Golden Globe Awards. Now, I have to say, I did enjoy the Golden Globes last year because it was presented by Ricky. You don't like him? No, I do like it. I just said I liked it. Mm -hmm. she, she doesn't listen. Um, <laughs> it was presented by Ricky Gervais. Mm -hmm. And I do like Ricky. He's very funny. And uh, he made fun of everybody. And uh, it was a great event. And I'd like to quash this ridiculous rumour going around that the only reason the tourist was nominated was so the Hollywood Foreign Press could hang out with Johnny Depp and Angelina Jolie. That is, that is rubbish. That is not the only reason. They also accepted bribes. Let's... No. All that happened was some of them were taken to see Cher in concert. How the hell is that a bribe? Really? Do you want to go and see Cher? No. Why not? Because it's not 1975. <laughs> I enjoyed it a lot. What? Did you watch it? A little bit. Not everybody likes him, but... It's well, what about you? I like him. I like him in the movie um, The Invention of Lying. Was wow, it? it probably took her like four hours to get that title right. He's been practicing all morning. <laughs> Good job. Not true. Okay, doesn't matter. So, uh, yeah, he's going to be presenting it again this year, and I am hugely excited about that. Um, and there's lots of exciting films that are up for awards. Um, I've got the nominations written down here. Didn't bother to memorize them. Um, now, as for the best musical or comedy film, uh, these are the interesting ones. There's Bridesmaids. Mm -hmm. Have you seen that? Mm, I think so. Well, obviously not very memorable. Comedy, mm right? Uh, yeah, up for best comedy oh, film. Yeah. <laughs> I was listening, sorry. This is some classy sh <laughs> I want to apologize. I'm not even confident of which end that came out of. You got food poisoning from that restaurant. No. no. Everybody, <laughs> go outside. Be careful. <laughs> We all got the flu! Such a coincidence! I feel like her life is going off and getting perfect, and mine's just like... Come on! I need you to touch your nose with your finger. If I was drunk, would I be able to do this? Move on okay. uh, to best foreign language film. And actually, The Flowers of War is up for the best foreign language film. I've heard. Yeah, and uh, I've seen the trailer. Looks terrible. Um, have you actually watched the film? Yes, I have. Is it good? Tell the truth. The truth? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hold on, wait, first of all, state media response. It was one of the most wonderful moving films I've ever seen. <laughs> Real response, rubbish. Okay, um, so probably won't win. Um, one of the things that made me very happy about uh, the nominations was that Best Actor in a Comedy, one of the nominations was for Brendan Gleeson in a film called The Guard. It's not a very well-known film, it's an Irish film, and I watched it a couple of months ago uh, on DVD, illegal, and like all of them, and uh, it was absolutely wonderful, enjoyed it very much. Uh, I could only understand about 90% of it because the Irish accents are very strong, but uh, yeah, it, it can be difficult to understand. Um, okay. But you, you work with people from around the world, so uh, you work with Australians and Scottish people and stuff like that. Well, so you're good with accents. No, because they all work in China, so they kind of dropped it into a Chinese English accent, so I could catch them. Really? Mm -hmm. Hello. <laughs> there you go. I work in China a long time. <laughs> I'm very good at job. <laughs> I, I'm Terminator. Look. Okay. Um, so uh, before we get sued for racial harassment. Let's uh, take a look at a trailer for one of these films. Now, the film that I've been most looking forward to from the Golden Globes list that uh, I haven't seen yet because it's not here in China um, is called The Descendants with uh, Mr. George Clooney. Do you like him? I do. Well, her eyes opened and her papayas went out. I did so, not. <laughs> so, uh, and you, look, they've changed the chair, so you can't even rip the arm No, what off. the first lawsuit you're going to get is from me, not from our viewers. OK, well, you signed up. Because we don't have any viewers. You signed up. <gasps> <laughs> the truth has come out at last. We tried to we tried to smooth over that fact, okay? You know, I'm gonna be watching this at home later on Friday, so hello to me. Hi mom. mom. Hi um, mom. <laughs> your mom doesn't even speak English, so she doesn't know. Uh, <laughs> ni hao uh Jong Leong Damar. Alright, is that right? <laughs> is, is that wrong or right? Alright, anyway, she knows what I mean. <laughs> Hi to you. Next week. <laughs> Thank you. Um, so uh, let's check out the trailer for The Descendants. Kuma kaka i kana o hila ve ika papalo hi mai ya o mau kele. My friends think just because we live in Hawaii, we live in paradise. 
We're all just out here sipping Mai Tais, shaking our hips and catching waves. Are they insane? Do they think we're immune to life? How can they possibly think our families are less screwed up? Our heartaches less painful. Set breath. Don't ever do that to me again. Looks very entertaining, doesn't it? Yep. I'm just going to have another milk tea. Do you want some more? Yeah. Oh. No, I, ha I have okay. it. Here, cheers. Oh, cheers. I have to say, this milk tea every week is purchased by our producer, Ann Jung. And uh, I'd like to, first of all, thank her very much for her financial contribution to Real China and her great <laughs> job of producing. And she edits it as well. So uh, rather than toast CRI or CIBN or anything like that, let's toast Ann Jung. To Ann. To Ann. Let's clash our cups together for you, Ann. Now, let's uh, move on from Ann to uh, the question of the week. And uh, there are some big prizes up for grabs, so let's check it out. Kieran Hines, star of next year's Ghost Rider sequel, played Julius Caesar in which historical TV series? A. Ba Bao Shan B. San Li Tun or C. Rome Email your answers to realchina2011 at gmail.com before next Tuesday. <laughs> Good luck. Well, that's an interesting question. Mm -hmm. I, have, uh, I have no idea what the answer is. Could be anything. Uh, possibly from Italy. Um, but uh, do, do have a go if you want to win something. Uh, CRI has some wonderful prizes. Although we don't have any microphones, we have a lot of teapots, don't we? Yes, we do. And yeah. also calendars as well. What kind of calendars? No, the calendars that can sit on the table. But I mean, what are the photos of? Uh-huh. What photos? What photos? Yeah. Photos that's on the wall. Is it like, I'm Zhang Liang? Oh. <laughs> that would be a great photo. We might have like four or five viewers then. Um, I look forward to that calendar next year. Um, but anyway, well done to last week's winner, Mr. Winston Smith. Good job to you, sir. And uh, I guess that's about it. So you're off to enjoy your uh, relaxing afternoon. Oh, touching me under the table. <laughs> I can think of some people that won't be very happy about that. Um, but uh, it's time to say goodbye. So do you want to say goodbye? Yeah, goodbye. Okay. Bye-bye. <laughs>